Hi everyone, um, I don't know if you're aware that um, my niece Pippa was actually diagnosed with leukaemia about a year or so ago and my husband Carl has decided in his wisdom to do two triathlons as a fundraiser and um, also to raise awareness for PASIC, the charity that have helped my brother David and his wife Rachel. Okay, the triathlon actually consists of three parts. You have an open water swim, which is a mile. You have a bike ride, which is 27 miles. And then you have a run as well, which is six miles. And they all have to be completed one after the other. So Carl's not only doing one triathlon, he's doing two. Okay, so um, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So obviously it's, it's training, he's done two marathons before now, um, but he's never done anything like this before. So he really is pushing his body um, to the limit. So um, what we're going to do today is just follow him on his training a little bit, just so you can see how much effort he's put in. Um, he's very determined and he has a lot of willpower. This isn't natural for him to do stuff like this. It doesn't come easy and he's really had to work. Um, there's a lot of dedication and a lot of time he's spent um, most evenings with his training. So um, come along today and we'll um, follow him around um, his training. Oh God. Hello. Um, my name is Courtney Megan and today I am here at Fox End Park. There's lots of people watching me but there's not. And we're at Box End Park with Dad because he's doing a uh, he's doing two triathlons. Um, currently in Bedford. Yeah, Bedford. Um, it took us over an hour to get here. Um, and it's half seven in the morning. In fact, 25 minutes past seven. Um, so yeah, it took us over an hour to get here. Um, it's very early, it's very cold and um, yeah, I'm sat on the side all nice and wrapped up and he's got to go get in the water in a wetsuit on his own with Paul. So, yeah. Um, no, they're doing... Well, Dad's doing two Olympic-sized triathlons. Um, oh, even I'm cold. Um, doing two Olympic-sized triathlons. Um, and... Yeah. So Paul's doing one with him. They're doing the Pittsford... Pittsford and the St Neots one. Um, Pittsford is Sunday coming up. I can't think. I think it's seventeenth. Um, yeah, seventeenth of June on Father's Day. Um, I'm waiting for them to come out now. They've gone to get changed, but I can't see them anywhere. So yeah, but yeah, it's, it's way too early for me just to sit here. So don't know what's going to be like for them to go and climb in a pool it's not a pool it's a river and it looks very cold so i'm getting very weird stares from people around me there's some really cool ramps though but i told them to swim up them but then i realized it'd be more fun to slide down them but i don't think they're going to do that either but i'll show you the river in a second and i'll show you them when they come out but yeah so this is the like rivery thing it's really big and they've got to swim around it <clears throat> so uh yeah and i'm sat on this lovely bench over here and i'm gonna be nice and warm and there is a very big crane they had these stupid things on them for ear frogs stuck to the side you look like you've had a facelift. Well, that's what it does, isn't it? I don't know, I'll just put mine on so it's just basically on me. They're off. Don't laugh. <laughs> oh. They have to go get in over there. Wait, 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 there. That's where they have to jump in. Right, yeah. Yeah. And then he's got to go to all the way around there. But yeah, it's quite pretty. Right, there they are. Dad's in the red hat, but he hasn't got it on yet. Paul's in the yellow hat.
know that's it. <laughs> Looks a bit cold. To be fair, it is a bit cold. There you go, pulls off. <laughs> what is he doing? They've now disappeared, and I cannot see them. Um, I can hear them though, because Dad's always loud. Um, okay, so, the, so basically, Dad's doing this triathlon. Like, he's doing two triathlons um, for leukemia, because our my cousin, his niece has uh, leukemia. Um, so him thinking brightly after doing two marathons for British Heart Foundation and for ME and like CFS thought you know what I'm going to do two Olympic sized triathlons um, so this is how dad now spends his Saturday mornings um, at 20 to 8 swimming around a freezing cold lake no fishes right if there's any fishes in here they must be so confused as to what's going on because dad got caught in some reefs a minute ago right what do the fishes think Hi guys, um, hello, it is now 25 past, it took them 41 minutes to get round, I timed them. Yeah, so they're now going to get changed, um, and then we're going to go for a coffee and a sit down, and I'm going to have a massive bacon roll, thank you. Okay, so we're back home now, and uh, they're just going off on their bike ride, so we're just going to go and follow them, and see how they get on. Okay, me and Phoebe's are in the car. We're just going to go and find Dad and Paul, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, so they're going um, on a route this morning and we're going to park up and find them um, and see them come past. Yeah, so let's go and find morning. them. Right, we've um, parked up now, just waiting for the t them to come past. We're outside the Tony Marsh Arms in Harrington. That's um, a beautiful pub there, so we're just waiting. And um, we're not sure which way they're going to come, whether it's this way or from around there. Yeah, and they'll come past and then we'll just film them going off into the sunset. <laughs> so just think there. 
on their way, Phoebes. Here they come. They're going quite fast. Oh my god! They're <laughs> changing that way! They're on their way! <laughs> what? Oh, I did my button They up. were zooming, weren't oh, they? I did my button up. Did you miss them? No. Blink and you'll miss them. That's it. I did my button up. Okay, so Carl's now doing um, a run. This is all in the same day of training. In the actual triathlons, he is doing six miles. Um, he has completed two marathons as well. Um, so we've just parked up now just to find him doing his running and he's just coming down this road now. So this is all within the same, the same day. So there's a lot of preparation <laughs> that goes into it. So there we go. There he is running and that is part, a lot of the training um, and dedication that goes into the triathlons. Um, as I say, he's doing swimming, he's going to the local swimming pool, he's doing about 75 lengths and he's doing his open water swimming as well. So um, he's doing well, a lot of dedication. Okay, so we're back from the training and how are you feeling, Carl? Yeah. Is it... Is it a good idea? Tickety boo. Are you really glad you decided to do two triathlons now? Nope. No. So you've done two marathons before yep. now. Yep. Um, what made you decide to do a triathlon? Well, as Were a, you drunk? A little bit. <laughs> but as a family, we felt a little bit useless with Pippa, what I did, and I felt like I could do something, especially for a charity that doesn't really have... There's not a lot of many people know about them, so I decided to do it for them. Obviously, with a bit of chatting with Pippa's mum and dad, um, but then also the main reason was I wanted to do something different and I also blame my uncle Paul. And he's helped a lot with the training hasn't he yeah, as well? Yeah, he's been with me all, all the time with the open water swimming and lent me his bike mm -hmm. and he's been out with me on the bike as well so yeah, we've, we've been alright. And what part of the training have you found the most difficult? Uh, the swim to start with. The swim, but I've self-taught to do the open water which I'm quite proud of so I'm doing alright with the swim. I think that's about the only thing I'll carry on with afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, and I found the most difficult thing to run because I've just neglected it, thinking I'd be okay with it and wing it. But, uh, but yeah. So you've done two marathons, but yes. is it? But obviously you haven't ran after swimming and b sort of cycling, so no. that's going to be a big part of the track. And what order does it actually go in? Swim, bike, run. And they're on the 17th of June. That's the first one. Whereabouts first is that? 17th of June. That's at Pitchford. Yeah. So people can come along if yeah. they want to I see. I get in the water at 7.30. Yeah. And from there, it's just carry it on. And then the second one's July the 1st at St. Neots. At St. Neots. And what time, do you know what time that is? Is that early as well? No, that's, I think we get in the water probably a little bit later. We're probably around about quarter past eight on that one. So PASIC um, is a charity that have helped my brother David and his wife Rachel um, a lot with the diagnosis and um, sort of helping them to cope as a family. So um, if you can support Carl, even if it is just a um, small amount, um, then we will actually put the details down as well. There is actually a text number that you can ring if you wanted to do that rather than through just giving. Uh, well done for your training today. What other training have you got? Uh, wind down now, so Tuesday night will be small, so it'll be about 40 to 50 lengths on Tuesday night. And that'll be at the local pool, because you've been be training it. at the local swimming yeah. pool as and well, haven't you? probably just half an hour on the bike on Thursday, but the rest of it will be stretching. And then Saturday, go and get me numbers, stickers, and then sit on my backside and just And rest. rest. I bet you'll be glad when the training's finished. Yes. It's been quite intense, hasn't it? Yes. Okay. I'll get Mondays off and Fridays off and that's it. And the rest of it is train, train, train. So that's it guys. So if you do want to sponsor Carl, then um, do let us know. As I say, every penny helps and it helps to support him. Um, we will update you and I'll also film on the day. So thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye for now.